In this video, I'm going to show you different types of jobs that you can get while you're in nursing school. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Yua and I'm a second semester nursing student. In this video, I'm going to talk about all the different types of jobs that you should get if you do decide to work if you are in nursing school. And the reason why I said you should get is because a lot of these jobs are healthcare related. They're really beneficial in you gaining experience in the healthcare field and also they are also potential future employers as well. And if you haven't seen my latest video on if you should work while you're in nursing school, I'll link it up in the cards for you so you can check it out. And let's get started. The different jobs that are available for you as a nursing student, I'm gonna break it down to two different categories. The first category are basically jobs that do not require any additional training, certification, or licensing. So these jobs are pretty much available to anyone who really is willing to work those hours and that type of job. So the first job that you can get while you are a nursing student is a nursing assistant or a patient care technician. So these types of jobs are typically kind of like a nursing assistant where you help with ADLs, vitals, and this doesn't require any additional training. So that is great for nursing students. The second job that you can get is a monitor tech. A monitor tech is basically a person that basically watches the heart monitors on the EKGs and you pretty much sit at like a desk and you just watch like on a tele um, unit and this is a job that actually gives you additional training once you actually get the job. So you will have to pass a like a monitoring tech certification type of um, test but you won't need that prior to actually applying for the job. Another great position that you can apply for as a nursing student that does not require any certification or additional training is a physical or occupational therapy aid. Now this is specifically for like rehabilitation. You work with a lot of the PTs, OTs, and it's great because you can work in a hospital setting or a clinical setting as well. And you're basically assisting, prepping, you know, the therapy area and transporting patients, which is a great hands-on experience as well. Another position that you can apply for or a job that you can apply for as a current nursing student is a home health aide. Now, there are some employers that do require you to have like, your certification, but there are some that don't require it. And what that basically is, is instead of working at like a facility, you're actually going to the patient's home and you're actually helping them with ADLs and you pretty much are like a one-on-one -on -one patient, which can get a great experience as well. And then the next category is jobs that require additional training, certification, or licensure. So that, first of all, is the first one that I'm gonna talk about is a certified nursing assistant. As you probably know, it is a CNA position that requires about a couple months of training and you must pass a state certification test. And that's pretty much a nursing assistant, but requiring a certification, you may get paid a little bit more than a typical nursing assistant that doesn't have a licensure, but that also opens up a lot more doors. So if you do have the time and maybe, you know, the money to go ahead and pay for the licensure, then go ahead and do that, especially if you're just waiting before you even get into a nursing program. But if you are a current nursing student and you do feel like there are some time, like over the summer that you would like to get your certification, I highly recommend that so you can go ahead and apply for all of those jobs that do require that CNA license. And then the next one that I do recommend if you are a current nursing student, if you also have time is getting an EMT or emergency medical technician licensure, which you do is very similar. You get a few hours or months of experience and training, and then you basically sit in for this test. And if you pass that, you get your certification as well, which that also allows you to basically do a lot of different work and you get to apply for more positions that require that specific certification. So those are two different types of certification required jobs you can get in the nursing, uh, as a nursing student. And then there are also, of course, the non-licensure or certification requirement that I have given you today. If you're a current nursing student and you're looking for maybe a specific healthcare related job or great jobs for you as a current nursing student, those are my recommendation. Of course, you want a job that is either gonna give you healthcare related, um, experience or it's going to be very flexible because you're going to be in school so definitely take those two in count and of course you don't want to commit to something that 
it's going to actually take you away from school too much that it's going to be more of a distraction. If you have any other recommendations that would be beneficial to current nursing students, you know, definitely put it down in the comment section. Let us know because I know that there's so much more available positions or jobs out there that are great for current nursing students. And I would love to know as well and we can all help each other. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Other than that, these are my two most recent videos. So if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and continue watching my two previous videos all about if you should work while you're in nursing school and my nursing playlist.